Hello and welcome to the Talking About Two Hours special 20th anniversary show. Uh, I am John Griffith. Uh, in the empty chair next to me is not Kara Kilduff. She will be joining us mid-show, as she often does. Uh, <laughs> for those of you who have been watching for as long as we've been on, we've been on for 20 years this year. Uh, if you throw back to the, the very first show when things were a lot different, we had butterflies on the wall, we had stars on the wall, we were using uh, remote equipment, and we were flying by the seat of our pants. We're still flying by the seat of our pants, but we have a much better studio, and uh, hopefully I have it a little bit more together. Um, in that very first show, my very first guest is here again, Kathy Rollo. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> and what we, what we discussed in that very first show was your involvement with Community Theater and St. Gregory's Theater Group. And you are still very much involved in a different capacity these days, but still very much involved. Yeah. yeah. You are the or currently the artistic director? Yeah. Uh, so, so the group that I work with most of the time is St. Gregory's Theater Group. Okay. And they've been around for 36 years. Okay. Uh, and I've directed many of their productions, and this summer uh, I stepped out of the directing mm -hmm. uh, position for a while, and I'm the artistic director, and working closely with our director and having a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's nice to change things up in a while, every once in a while. It is. It is. I kind of freed up a little bit of time <laughs> for me. My summers have been very busy. When mm -hmm. I direct, it's really, it it's could be considered a seven-day-week job. Oh, absolutely. You know? I, I, I understand. And since I work full time, that's a lot of oh, pish. job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pish. <laughs> but, uh, but I really found a lot of joy in this position also a lot, especially getting to work a little differently with our designers. Okay. Uh, closer to them, really um, getting to play a little bit more with the work they're doing and the conversations we have and being able to work with the director and looking at her vision Mm -hmm. You know, and getting to experience somebody else's vision and helping them explore it and, and, and create it on the stage and the world around that supports them. Mm. Yeah. It's, um, well, I mean, it, it's obviously bringing new challenges to you and it's uh, allowing other people to express themselves. Has, has, it, has the change in role been challenging for you sometimes where you're l not fulfilling your own specific artistic vision? You're enhancing somebody else's? Um, no, I, th I think probably the piece of the role that, it's not that it's challenging, but it's probably the piece I avoid is the, like, the money around all of the, de the designers need a certain amount of money to do this and the lighting mm. designer needs that. And I would love to not have those conversations. <laughs> uh, you know, so that would be the piece that would, you know, I'm doing it, and I'm, I'm enjoying doing it because I know so much information around it, so it's okay. Okay. Uh, but I'm uh, I'm having no difficulties letting somebody else <laughs> kind of bring in their their idea of what it could feel like to be in this world they're creating, and her, listening to you know her vision and her mm -hmm. ideas and supporting it. It's been really a wonderful experience. I'm sure, and yeah, as with a predominantly youth production. Um, it, it's so wonderful to see emerging talent uh, come into being, and you've had quite a few people who have gone on and actually worked in the industries, yeah. and you know, some of them have actually passed through here as yeah. well, and some, <laughs> some of them are currently working in mm. professional theater. Yeah. So it, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to see such talent grow and develop and know what part in it that you had. Thank you. It is. It is. And we have had, we've had actors that have gone on and really, you know, stepped onto some wonderfully strong theater spaces and others who just maybe continued through it in college, but then made another choice. But the experience always remains with them. And uh, hearing that feedback over the years of what it meant Mm -hmm. To be in a production like yes. yourself, yes. You know. Actually, we were we were talking before the show, and yeah. I, I wish I had as much free time as I did when when I was in four productions over yeah. the course of a couple of years. And yeah, even even yeah, sometimes it was just one line. Sometimes it was something a little more featured, but it was always a positive experience and always great people and just great energy. Yeah. And the the amount that the the group 
puts into it. Uh, I mean, people have an image of you know, community theater, just like the way they have an image of community television, but it's not exactly what it is because there is so much more in what you do and what you get out there yeah. than, than people think. And uh, we have <coughs> we have some images of just some of some of the sets and some of the cast that yeah. uh, that you've had. And as we get those on screen, just uh, just give a little description of of what they might be if they, when they pop up. I think yeah, you can probably see them better than I. I uh, can. Now, what was this? So this is uh, the ballroom uh, dance during My Fair Lady. And uh, I mean, I'm really so proud of this company because at one point, the turning point became so incredible with the design mm -hmm. work. And as simple as this is, that, that chandelier, every piece of it was put together by our set designer, Todd Wilkinson. And we asked that the stage be left as simple as it could be. So mm. they just went with these pillars that had a, uh, a, be a beautiful marble uh, paintwork done on mm -hmm. them. And it was just so incredibly simple yet elegant. Okay. And uh, so that's yeah, My Fair Lady, which was a play I had been wanting to direct <laughs> for so long. And this is also from My Fair Lady, and these were three, three, three-dimensional flats. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. And um, the artist that did this is Matt Lebo, and he worked with uh, Todd in this one. And the uh, lighting designer was so excited that he could make that street lamp. <laughs> uh, light and maybe in the world of professional theater that's an easy thing to do but in the world of community theater that is not so easy mm -hmm. to do and, yeah, and our limited budgets and resources so to see you know incredible it, it, work like that right it, it's got to spark your creativity even yeah. more because if, if you're yeah, if you're trying to put together a hundred dollar piece out of ten dollars and make it believable mm -hmm. it, it's a lot of effort and yeah. I, I just i remember i know we don't have an image of this but um I think I think it was we were doing done to death and we built um, some beautiful stonework out of polystyrene and styrofoam, yeah. and it j it looked so real and s had so much depth to it because it was actually three dimensional, but just the the level of creativity in creating it just um, by by use of different shades of spray paint and just melting melting the styrofoam in, in a different manner it just mm -hmm. it was it's the it's the wonder of the stage and th it, that was just um, amazing to see to see happen it's true and we've used styrofoam many times <laughs> since <laughs> for all different effects it isn't in for some of the artists artists we've worked with they've really enjoyed using that to mold and, and mm -hmm. create with you know and it's more an inexpensive item to choose you know yeah so and, and this uh, was also okay. Yeah, so this is Beauty and the Beast, <laughs> and oh, I wish I probably should have sent a better image because this dress was incredible. But even, I mean, yeah. it, even you can so even you can tell it's it's elaborate. Yeah, yeah. This is so. This is Belle and um, Marjorie Wilkerson, who shares the same last name because Todd and Marjorie met doing the design work uh, with our theater company <laughs> and are now married. And she has just done such incredible work. And later, when we have a, a, our singers come on, you'll see the work she's doing now and the production we're doing. And this dress, so many companies have wanted to borrow <laughs> since they've done well, it. I, th I think when you, when you sent me the file, I don't think it had the, the production name on it. And just, uh, just when I saw it, I knew what play it was from. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's just how wonderful the imagery that, yeah. th that's been created, you can instantly tell what it belongs to and that's 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 yeah. wonderful yeah and this production was a huge one too because the um the set ended up being massive but from the first image mm -hmm. it just looked uh like the the town and these beautiful mm -hmm. three-dimensional flats but then this wall that was in the back of the town ended up opening oh, well. revealing this incredible massive castle uh and it was just uh, the audience was in awe to, to see so much more. I can imagine. Yeah. I, it's just, it's a lot. What do we have done? This was? So I, I would, you know. Uh, this is your raw space? Yeah. To and a degree? the audience doesn't, they don't always get to see, you know, the, what, we, what we work with. They mm -hmm. come in, the magic's already started. But to see that we're really, we're working in a gymnasium. And, mm -hmm. and for many of our productions, we've put our tech table on the stage and raked the audience and then created the space on the floor which just gives us so many other choices. 
So this was last year. This is our production of Godspell, the newer version. Okay. And the band got to sit right there on stage in this old playground. And I just thought it was fun to kind of <laughs> see it in, in this image, you know, mm -hmm. be, before it, everything else happened. And I think we have a, sh a shot of the um, a perform of it in performance. Is this it? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a little closer, but you can see the band yeah. was over there, and uh, it's quite playful. And it just it just comes alive then. And we had trees mm -hmm. donated or, or loaned oh, to wow. us, so we had live trees on stage in the park, and we had a make sure we watered them every <laughs> night and protected the, the plants and the trees. Well, uh, Godspell is something that pops up in, in the company's repertoire every now yeah. and then. It's uh, actually... Uh, it was our the first. It was the first. Yeah. It was our first, four months later our second, <laughs> and then in the tenth year. And then we really felt like it was, it, we've, it, there was plenty of span of time to, to tackle it again. Mm -hmm. And then the new production just was so fun that we really wanted to just, it's time to do it and, and do mm -hmm. the new one. And we really had a great cast, an incredible set to play with. So yeah, it was a... So is, it, is it because it's a personal favorite of yours or from... I think it is because it was the first <laughs> because one. Because the first one. It really is, I would say mostly because it was the first one. I have a few personal <laughs> favorites. Well, sometimes the first, it's <laughs> always nice to come back to. Yes, <laughs> that's right, thank you. Uh, and then the uh, I yeah. know that one. <laughs> right, so in the winter time we do straight plays and sometimes we do music reviews. Mm -hmm. This was the first time we did a musical in the winter, so we did Charlie Brown. And I just wanted to show off again the artist, simple but mm -hmm. so playful and fun. And our artist was able to uh, really recreate all of those characters on those flats, which is great. Um, where, where do you find the different... Um, I don't, I don't know if challenges is the right word, as far as compar comparing and contrasting the musicals versus the straight plays and the, the, the time of year and <laughs> what, what all plays into the, the steps toward it becoming, I don't want to use the word barriers, but the word barriers is what pops into my mind. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 the barriers of trying for our company to do a nice big staged musical in the winter mm -hmm. are we're using a school space. Okay. And we, we need weeks to build the sets we build and uh, create all the costumes we create. And there's just no space to do it if there's the school is going on. So we've always used the winter time to create something a little smaller, more intimate. Mm -hmm. we, we have built some incredible sets in a <laughs> minimal amount of time. We did Noises Off in there on their stage. It's a two-story high piece um, and it, he built this set in like a, a week and a half it was nobody should have built it that quickly yeah. uh, isn't that a, a double set yeah. also <laughs> and we had to turn that twice a night oh wow <laughs> i should have brought that video <laughs> so <laughs> well for those who don't know it's like one act takes place in uh in front of this on stage and one right. takes place backstage yeah. and it's it, it's it's a wonderful production to see, and <laughs> I even enjoyed the movie. So. <laughs> the stage production is, is that, as a, from a director's point of view, it was so detailed and it's just rich with humor and comedy and laughter. But if the, it, you got to get it, you got to mm -hmm. hit the beats. And it, the actors and my assistants and I like would spend the whole night with the script in hand, saying, "Wait, which door?" Which door do they go to now? Wait, they go through that door. Wait, they go up those steps. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> and to try to coordinate it. But it was a great production. I hated seeing that one close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So and big. So uh, this was big, the musical, and uh, the the piano. You stepped on that piano and it lit. You can see uh, some of the lights mm -hmm. now, and uh, they. It was an incredible piece of, of work. This had a quite a, Todd had quite a few people working with him on the different design elements. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, everybody knows the piano, so I thought that would be the fun one to show everyone. And uh, this one was, this piece took place on our stage okay. with um, an extension that comes out. Okay. Yeah, uh, most of our musicals have about four, anywhere from 45 to 70 or 80 actors oh, wow. and in any one moment they might all be on stage so when we create <laughs> even on the actual stage we have to build 
out into mm -hmm. into that gym space to really give plenty of room to make it all happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in a few minutes, we're going to see a little snippet of something that you're you're working on this year. As soon as yeah. as soon as everybody's in the room, okay. and if everybody's not in the room, somebody should go get the person who's not <laughs> in the room. So and th yeah, and th this is uh, this was Children of Eden, and I just loved the um, the lighting work that was done. We, we've worked with lighting designers, um, all different designers, and a lot of students from Purchase have come in and done some lighting for us. So I just loved the image. This is uh, the Ark. I don't know if you're familiar with Children of Eden. No, I'm not. Yeah, so. the first act takes place at the time of Adam and Eve, but the second act takes place at the time of Noah and the Ark. Uh, and this huge piece, again, this is down on the floor, and that huge Ark turns uh, earlier to create the Ark. Okay. And on the left, uh, as we're looking at the image, is the actor who played God. Okay. And I just, I just really enjoyed the lighting work that was done in this show. And you could kind of see on the top some of uh, what we have to do when we use mm. this space to pull up a truss. You know, when a lighting designer comes in, they're coming into, an, like all of the designers, in a completely raw space. Mm. And they have to find a way to, to, yeah, to I've place seen these some lights. Of some, of, some of what you've done just by even some, a, a lot of illusion. Yeah. And sometimes just um, unlikely things being used in different ways. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, a genie that you would use to to change high light bulbs because I remember seeing it, you know, wheel in and come into place and, and rise just for for a scene that's coming. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the first Joseph we did. Yeah. So and um, well, this year is Mary Poppins. Yes, it is. Very soon. <laughs> very yes, soon. Very oh, soon. What are the dates of the production? We, uh, oh, it's August seventh through the sixteenth, so it's very very soon. Yes, right, and, right uh, around the corner. And we buy tickets now. It's reserved <laughs> seating and it's air conditioned. You'll be very comfortable. <laughs> and we're not air conditioned tonight. I don't but know what's going is. on. Here. It is air conditioned. <laughs> but your, th your theater is definitely air conditioned. Uh -huh. I, I think I was uh, part of the, the, the first year that you Bro probably <laughs> brought in, in the air conditioning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because in the middle yeah. of August in, in a gymnasium, yeah, air conditioning is, is beneficial. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Well, um, well, tell me a little bit about how, how this year's production came into being. Uh, actually, our two, our two la um, main designers, our costume designer and uh, set designer, really wanted to do this production. So we just said, go for it. You know what it means. <laughs> a lot of costumes, a lot of set. And uh, they really are doing a fantastic job with it. Uh, they brought Amanda on as the director, who's been an actor in the company, okay. and then has also been assisting me on some shows and doing some fantastic, interesting movement choreography. And I uh, was really happy she was going to direct this year. And uh, she picked a fantastic cast. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just great. And we're very excited because it's opening in a week from right now. <laughs> and uh, very excited because all the design elements are now starting to move in and blossom. And mm -hmm. watching, I love this week, watching <laughs> actors kind of. It, it, it's <laughs> when things go from like the impossible to the possible yeah. is in that last week before the sh for, before the show was how often did you not particularly with this production but with any production did you have a doubt like that that 48 hours before first curtain I, I'd say my first 10 years <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but since then there's always been we're gonna go we there's gonna be some tweaking still but we're going we're ready and the last Ten years easy. We're ready. You know, there might be a moment, but the actors are ready. They've been working hard. Everybody's been working hard. They're ready to go. You know, even knowing that before we've gone into tech, <laughs> they're ready. <laughs> okay, so the yeah. website? It's sgtg.org. St. Gregory's Theater Group, yeah. sgtg.org. Yes. And, and unfortunately, the box office, I'd have to look for the numbers. <laughs> so maybe but it's on the website. It is so on the we website, all the information. You can sign up on the website. Uh, you can get tickets on the website. You know, join our Facebook. We have all of those fun <laughs> things, all new to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But you're out there. You're in there. You're, yeah. You got it going. Yes, I am. <laughs> so so what, what song are we going to see? We're going to hear a few songs. Um, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll hear a few snippets of the, the children uh, uh, singing the song that talks about wanting a nanny and their letter about uh, what perfect nanny could be. Okay. And then when we meet the nanny, Mary Poppins, she sings uh, um, perfectly, uh, practically perfect, <laughs> sorry. Okay. She's practically perfect. And then they're going to end with a very familiar 
uh, song that everybody's going to know. I don't even know if I need to say it, but you might choose mm -hmm. to sing along. All right. <laughs> a lot of syllables in that one? <laughs> Lots of <laughs> syllables and a million letters. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for taking the time to come and see me. And go see the show. Uh, all the information is available at the website, sgtg.org. Org, yeah. And here are some of the casts right now. Choice position, have a cheery disposition, rosy cheeks, no war. That's the part I put in. Play games, all sorts. You must be kind, you must be witty, very sweet and very pretty. Take us on now, dames. as a son and daughter and never smell of barley water I put that bit in too If you won't scold and dominate us we will never give you cause to hate us We won't hide your spectacles so you can't see Put toad in your bed or pepper in your tea Hurry nanny Many thanks Michael Banks. By the time the wind has blown, the weather been around, I'll show you if I can. No matter what the circumstance, for one thing I'm renowned. My character is spit, spot, spick, and span. What about your measurement, Mary Poppins? I'm practically perfect in every way. Practically perfect, so people say. Each virtue virtually knows no bound. Each trait is great and patently sound. I'm practically perfect from head to toe. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. I'm just going to sneak in the middle. Um, starting with you, just introduce yourself. Just uh, get into the mic um, and my say My name hello. is Leah Frawley, and I play Jane Banks. And? Hi, I'm Ryan O'Connor, and I play Michael Banks. My name is Megan Gratzer, and I'm playing Mary Poppins. Hi, I'm Matthew DeSiena, and I'm playing Bert. OK, so um, you're obviously having a really good time here, and uh, are you enjoying the production? Oh. Absolutely. It's yeah. been a blast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. What do you find the most challenging? Um, hmm. I think remembering blocking is pretty hard to remember. <laughs> <laughs> blocking, <but laughs> well, we have it simple here. We just have four mics laid out <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What's the most exciting part of, of the production for you? Oh, exciting is definitely so when we started off reading the scripts, just reading it, and then actually getting like into it with our costumes and the action and the lights. <laughs> I love it, yeah. <laughs> okay, and what about you? Um, 
how do you carve out the time in, in your schedule just to just to just to keep up with this because I know it's it's massive scale and it's a, it's a huge time commitment it is a big time commitment um, for me I'm a teacher so I have the days free so I just dance <laughs> on the side of my house for two hours <laughs> and people just stare at me but I really need to get these dances down because they're very intricate well uh, you should obviously be you know working it on a rooftop oh yeah well it's a little dangerous <laughs> safety first no magic, <laughs> you know and what about you what, what what's the the most joyful part of the production that you find oh um well for me I've been here for so long this is my 10th year I think um just coming back and being with my friends, uh, I've like I have a family here, so it's really nice to. So you, so you were like this when you oh started. Oh yeah, I started <laughs> when I was, I think I was nine. I think I was nine years old, and I'm turning 21 in like a week. So. Okay. Yeah, so I'm like almost. Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> no backstage nips. No. no. <laughs> no. After your 21st. Okay, we're gonna keep this. We're gonna keep this uh, PG. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so the production opens again. August 7th, and it goes until the 16th. Uh, the Sunday shows are at 2 o'clock, and the night shows are at 8 o'clock p.m. And all the information is on the website again, sgtg.org? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Uh. That's what I'm talking about, talking about, talking about.